sometimes. Yes, I know, I know, it's sad. It makes me sad too, because you're awesome. But yeah, hey, you're a stunticon, you know better. Don't worry what people say about you. Yes, as long as you're maiming and killing, everything will be fine. So, uh, yeah, on your merry way then. Uh, hide hands. Give him a lift. A and be careful. Be careful with him. Be gentle. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, on the shelf, to the right. Yes, right there. Perfect. And all hail the Gabzai Army. And what have I for you today, my friends? I have Off-Road. Yes, the last member of the Stunticon team and the newest. So there you go. He's an off-road car looking pretty good. And um, let's just go turn it to the side. Comes with the comic. Hired hands to the side. Right there. And then to the back. Right there. And just like usual, all the same things. So let's just read about them. The newest member of the Stunticons is pressed into action on missions his teammates want no part of, giving him the opportunity to show off his extreme conditions combat training. It's dirty work in the most dangerous situations, but it's the only way he'll win his teammates' trust. Why do you care? Y you're a Decepticon, Decepticon. Trust is not a thing with you. <sighs> That's so infuriating. I, I look, the leader of the team, Motormaster, does he care what you think? No, because he's being a tyrant. Come on. <sighs> Dead end's going to tell you you're just going to die anyway. So... <sighs> Why do you care? That, that doesn't put you on good footing with me. All right, all right, that's enough rambling. All right, back to the front. Nothing there, and the front. So let's open him up and see how whiny does. Yeah, now that bothers me. You know, when you're worried about what other people think, that's stupid. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. You know, if somebody says something bad about you, just ignore them. Duh, doesn't matter. You know, always think about this. Do you like that person? And if the answer is no, then why do you care? Yeah, think about that for a moment. If somebody you don't like says something bad about you, why do you care? And then you just move on. That's the Gubslev way. So, um, yep, let's open them up and check them out. Hide hands, push the button. And now we have the newest and whiniest member of the Stunticons. Off-road. Yeah, who cares? Off-road, off-land, offended. Huh. You don't even matter because you're kind of some kind of truck thinking you're all cool with you. Look at me, I have a truck. Yeah, all right, real nice. Nice job, trucky guy. And to the back. And, and here's something that bothers me. Here's a little peg area. And you would think you could take his gun and you could, like, peg it in there or something. There'd be a special spot, a special port, and you just... Peg that guy, peg it in there some somehow, and it almost looks like, hey, maybe you could just peg that. But no, I and mean, look how perfect that would look. I and mean, if they just put a little peg on the thumb or something, awesome. But no, no, you just kind of just, there. It's riding on top of it. Because otherwise you got to put it on the side here, because over here, well, you don't like that. Driving along, yeah, this is, this is a good driving. Anyway, so here he is, and I have to say, nice paint apps on him. Yeah, I'm being a little hard on him. Why? Because he's a little whiny guy. You know, you really got to go through life trying to get people to appreciate you. Like, 
hey, look at me, Dad. I look at all I'm doing. I'm I'm awesome, and and people are liking me, and and you should let me come back home, you know, and get me to come home from Taiwan, cause cause I hate it here, and Felsberg annoys me, and, and you know, I just want to go home to the Foo Bar and hang out. I, 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 I have nothing to do with me. Sorry, sorry. I just hypothetically speaking, and and stuff, and uh, anyway, yeah. So nice, nice. Uh, truck. Actually, it's very nice molding on it. I just don't like the fact that it's there and useless. And let's compare them to the superior one, which is, of course, Wild Rider. Yeah, but I do like that they kept the color scheme. So that's nice. So there you go. Wild Rider and Billy Bob. Why? Because it's demeaning. And I feel angry for some reason, because he's a whiner. There you go. So here's Billy Bob, and let's put Billy Bob in his robot mode. Yeah, now let's uh, get Billy Bob over here into his robot mode, and it's again nice, simple transformation. Flip this back, come over here, take out the arms here and here, and then we're just going to push up the shoulders right there. It's nice and tight. The shoulder joints are actually very nice, very tight. Right here. Elbows. And then we have the legs, and of course we flip this back like this, get into this position, and once we do that we have the legs. So you open up the legs, flip it down this way, yeah. and then we're going to come back, and this tab here, tabs in up here, Right there. And boom, you're done. Yeah. That fast. Nice, simple, and easy. So let's take a closer look at our friend Billy Bob. And let's take a good look at Billy Bob's face. Now, just look at Billy Bob over here. Actually, he does have a fantastic face sculpt on him. And it's really nice. They did a great job on designing these guys, actually, all the way around. I'm very pleased with the Stunticons, I have to admit it. And, you know, this guy's no different. He just brings up some sore subjects about acceptance and trying to get people to notice you, trying to be, like, trusted. You know, it's hard when you stab everybody in the back. You know, really, really hard for people to trust you when you betray them as often as you can. Yeah, and laugh at them. And so let's go and we'll look at a Wild Rider. And again, very nice, very nice job that they have here. Nice paint apps, the red, the uh, turquoise, that little bit of silver that they put on the knees. It really shows that Hasbro does care about the Combiner Wars. And again, size. You know, here's Arms Micron, there's the Combiner Wars, and they haven't lost size which is fantastic. Now he does come with his gun that won't, you know, his gun that becomes a hand and becomes the gun and won't fit, you know, and you can put it in his hand, but it just looks ridiculous, so. But he does come with an axe because any hillbilly needs an axe. I, I've seen Felsbug carry around an axe quite often. And on those days, you don't want to talk to him, yeah. Because you just don't know. He might have a chainsaw in there. I don't, I don't know what he does. And I don't want to ask, but right there, yep. Pretty nice. Now, articulation-wise, of course, he has his ball joint for a head, so you can do 360. Little bit of tilt down, little bit of no, no tilt up, right there. For the shoulders, he does have those real tight shoulder joints right here, which go just down. They do not go up, so you can get them to droop down. Now... For this part, you can get the shoulders out this way. You can do a 360, but you gotta watch that point. Okay, above the elbow, you've got a joint. And also, this part here has a little sway to help you with transformation. No wrist articulation. He does have waist articulation. He has his thigh will go that far. It'll go all the way forward and that far back. He's got a 360, then he's got a 90 degree knee, and no foot tilt because uh, it's just solid molding. 
but right there. So he looks really good. Good, nice job. And oh, because I've been mocking Billy Bob so much, I forgot before to show you the comic, okay? Yes, he comes with the comic. And let's just move this for a second just to show the back, his profile. So right there, if you pause, you can see it. Right there. Conclusion. You should be able to pause and check that out. And then over here, everything about them. All right? So there you go. And it's always great when they come with a comic, but poor drag strip, no comic for you. So let's go to the final thoughts that I have on this guy, Billy Bob. I, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Yeah, Billy Bob, I, I do. I Come on. I've been trying so hard over here in Taiwan to get food and notice me and be like, hey, you know what? Come on home, son. You know, and that's all I really want. I really, well, aside from that, and doing mayhem and pushing old people down the stairs. But, but you know, come on. I, I get where you're coming from. I, acceptance is so hard, especially ones you care about. And you just want to be loved by your fellow stutter. You, you hit the button? What? <sighs> I, I ignore all that. I, I didn't say anything. I wasn't whining or complaining. So let's get back to Billy Bob over here. The whiner. Yeah. Complaining about not fitting in. I'd never do that. Call me foo. Call me. I want to go to the foo bar. Ah, this, this whole video is ruined. Alright, alright. Suck it up, comes up. Suck it up. Alright. Well. I will say that I would have preferred Wild Rider, but I understand why they put in, you know, Billy Bob. And Billy Bob is a nice figure. I like the coloring, I like the styling on him. Really good head mold. So he is a great figure. So, you know, I can't hold anything against him for being new. You gotta bring in the new figures, the new characters, or people get bored. So, yes, it's another Stunticon you need in your collection. So... Yeah, besides you need him for Menasaur. Yeah, pretty much I'm going through all of them saying the same thing. But he does get the guts of seal of approval, despite being a weak little wimp that is like whiny and just wants to fit in and oh, does everybody like me? Do you like me, Stunticons? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So, uh, let's just say all hail the Gubs of Army. Pick them up if you find them. And, um, Gubs them out. And button. That's the button. And I can't believe you push up. You, you, you haven't pushed it yet. I have to berate you off camera. Yeah, there's things I want to say that I can't say in front of the kids. Yeah, and it's about your mom. Of course. You push the button, alright?